What's up, Poke Pals? Welcome to Poke Cat. Today we are submitting our entry for the second annual Pokey Summer Showdown. This year we're doing things a little bit different. Uh, instead of a full tournament, we are first doing a qualifying round that anybody can participate in at any time until the end of the month. Um, and we're going to be doing a winners versus losers uh, or underdogs tournament for top scoring and for lowest scoring from the qualifiers will be competing in a double-sided bracket. So our uh, cards for this are four packs of Chilling Rain, so it's a little bit more. Last year it was two packs per battle. Uh, four packs of Chilling Rain, and our points will be calculated as follows. Those will be right up there on your screen. We have gold and alt art VMAX cards that are each going to be worth eight points. We got rainbow cards worth seven points. Regular VMAX, full art, and alt art Vs are going to be six points. Regular Vs are five points. Holo rares are four points. Reverse holo rares are three points. And we have four special commons and uncommons that were selected by a random number generator. Uh, each of those will be worth one point, or if they're reverse hollow, they'll be worth two points. And those are Galarian Slowpoke, Venipede, Larvesta, and Filafy. So we have four packs to rack up as many points as we can. So let's go ahead and get started and see how many points we can get. Super excited to be participating in this and, and running it again. I've really enjoyed running it pretty much every time. Um, made lots and lots of fun, bad puns last time, so it's a good time. All right, we got Path to the Peak, Drizzile, Dina Tree Hill, Castform, Spiel, Hetina, Rockruff, Shuppet. Reverse Hollow, Larion, and ooh, Rainbow Rare Galarian Slow King V Max. What a time to not have my sleeves on hand. We cleaned up the studio, and we must have put away the sleeves. All right, we got those sleeves now. Slide that bad boy in there. That is probably the coolest Galarian Slow King you're gonna find. I think he looks kind of weird with the shell on his head, but I mean, can you really blame him? He's got a shell on his head, you know? I don't think we got any of the special uh, cards there, so we'll just keep on going. Did I show, I can't, I don't know if I showed this. So I'm showing it again. <laughs> and here's this one. Four to the front. I'm very excited to see uh, what uh, other people get in their qualifying matches. Ooh, we've got a reverse holo rare. That's gonna be some points. And a Doug Trio, regular rare, no points there, but that's okay. Um, this was really fun last year. I think people had a ton of fun with it. And of course, um, Pokedo, or I think he's going by Unlimited Doe now. Uh, was the winner last year. Very excited to see what he brings to the table this year. See if he can defend that title. Ooh, we got a reverse Hello Thunderous. That's going to be some points. That's a rare. And a Tornadus V Max. Getting those Weather Boys in there. 
Very nice. Not doing too bad on the points there. All right, last one. You know what that means? It's time for the last pack magic roll. All right, let's see if the last pack magic roll is gonna give us one last huzzah. There's that code card. Honestly though, a Rainbow Rare and a VMAX cannot complain about those odds there. Got Larion, Fire Resistant Gloves, Cast Form, Larvesta, that's one of those special cards, Sobble, Lady Boss, Quovet, Reverse Hollow, Curlia, and a Spirit Tomb. All right. And we've got quite a few points. Let me check my pile, make sure I don't have any extra points that I'm forgetting about. So it's these five that are gonna give us points. We have one point from Larvesta. We have three points each from both of these reverse hollow rares. That's gonna put us at seven. Then we've got a regular VMAX. That's six points for a total of 13. And then finally a rainbow rare, which is another seven points for a total of 20 points. I'd say that's probably a pretty decent start. Let me see what you've got the rest of uh, Poketubers. Hit me up, post those videos on YouTube with the hashtag Pokesummer Showdown, and let's see what you got. And until next time, we'll see you later.